Guys, I wanted to point something out which changed my life for the better when I played this game. So this was actually found, I was meant to make a video earlier in a week about it, but it just honestly uh, blanked my mind until I was playing on this game last night. So I was in the live stream on Sunday and someone by the name of Joe, he has been awarded a space up on the, the wall. Someone by the name of Joe said that you could do this little tip and trick when you're doing Road to Strong or Odyssey mode or any of the events, adventure modes. So I'm going to show you here, right? So say I go into Road to Strong. I've already cleared wave one. So I've, I'm on wave two and I've got everything to open in. I'll show you, right? So this, this is the ultimate cheat. This is kind of the main focus of today's video. Um, bang. Look at how mental that is. Now, I'm really curious for you guys to comment down below and let me know if you actually knew that you could do that. So what I'm showing you here is if you click the yellow name, it shows you what this card applies for. So I'm clicking Shield Watch and I go each allied physical. Oh, actually, you know, I, I don't know any physical characters. I click that and I go, OK, so that's going to increase Kanji Kabu to uh, Lackluster, uh, Naked Man. So you can see that that is what's going to boost, right? So I don't want to do that one because it's not useful. And I'm going to go up, up to this one. OK, none of these help, but that's fine. So I'll just do the Rage one. I'll go for this one. None of these are helpful ones either. So I'm going to go for attack. I'm going to click here. Now, OK, once again, oh, physical characters. OK, it buffs those ones. But like I said, I don't really use physical characters anyway, so I don't need to worry. But now this is what I wanted to show you. So, oh, tactical. That's unusual because there's, there's only five categories and I don't know who's in tactical. So instead of just clicking out for the best, you can click tactical and then it opens this menu here and you can see the range of tactical characters that are there. So I know now that if I pick this one, it's going to increase Terrible Tornado, which is obviously absolutely ideal. It's going to increase Terrible Tornado. It's going to increase Empress Child. It's going to increase Hatch Blizzard. So then I know to pick this one because it's going to power up the majority of my team. So guys, this is why this video is named the top hack in One Punch Man. And this is the ultimate hack just fly through the game. I used to say it's a hack because I didn't know anything about it until somebody told me. And they don't tell you about it. Like They don't announce that if you click this golden name, it shows you all of the characters that are going to be boosted. So now I know, oh, that's a good one. Because obviously that's going to make Terrible Tornado even more powerful. And I'll go through again. Oh, I don't know who's Agile. Um, oh, that does Supersonic. So I'm going to do that one because it's going to make Supersonic even more powerful. Um, high tech characters. Okay, Genos is going to be buffed. And if Charles can be buffed, but I don't need that one, so I've got a better one. We're going to here. We look again. Uh, critical hit damage would be the better one there. And then we can heal. So it, it's just that huge buff, guys, where we can go, oh, physical crafts are buffed. Or it's just seeing everything that helps. All of these are actually garbage. I think I use an active skill. This character covers 50. Okay, that's quite good, actually. So there. And now if we go into this one again, it just makes it easier. And this is what joe pointed out to me in the event and it honestly kind of like shook me a little bit i was like no how did i not know about this i've been playing the game for like four months i think and i did not know this was even a logical thing that you could do so if i form my kind of like normal team now um with my high tech characters and then supersonic as well we've kind of got a team which is used quite a lot here right so obviously in this one, I'm probably going to be able to kill everyone more or less straight away. I'll just use Telekinator's move and that will wipe everybody out. But what what we need to um, remember is now I'm going to come myself high tech characters again. Cool, that buffs them. I'm going to put that on so all of my characters are going to have increased attack again. So now I can fight Boris. I'll probably be able to kill him very easily. So let's have a look. So let's go special, lower his attack, do that, that will increase some people's attack, and use that, and then we'll use supersonic, because he's got a couple of buffs on him now. Ah, uh, look at that, nearly one shot at him. Oh, lovely crits. There you go, one rounded. One rounded borrows. Because I'm using that technique now, I instantly know 
who all of the bits and pieces work for. And it, it, this video, you might watch it and go, Josh, really? I knew about this because I'm not an idiot. And if that's the case, I, I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate you because obviously I know. Um, but like, I didn't know, guys. And I just want you to be honest and comment down below and let me know if you knew about this. And obviously, guys, whilst you're doing that, smash the like button. And do consider joining the Discord, guys, because I'll be hosting a Christmas live Q&A. So drop your questions in that Q&A section, guys. There we go. That's everyone being smashed out there. See weapon characters? Oh, okay. I didn't know. Okay, these ones are pretty obvious. But then that's going to further increase uh, Supersonic again. I need to get some stars up on Supersonic, guys. This is going to kill everyone anyway. Oh, big hit by Genos. But it's nice to have Genos and everyone else in, because these two characters are going to be increasing the damage by all the other characters. See again here, Fearless characters. Oh, okay, that's going to increase Melzard. 40% defense is fantastic. Melzard is going to stay alive. I should just be able to cut everyone to pieces with Supersonic in this one. There you go, that was good enough. Oh, just didn't kill him. So I quite like... Um, Child Emperor is a really good counter for Metal Bat because it stops him getting his special. Oh, he's got a special now. See, it always kind of baffles me how much health and um, shield he keeps. There we go. It just, just, just stop. Just get rid of him as a character. Do you know what I mean? We, we don't need it. We don't need that kind of thing. So now what I'll do is, for the last battle, I'm just going to put loads of high-tech characters in because they're going to do all the um, <clears throat> all the attack increases. So I'll put him on down there. And then it was these ones like that. And what's, what is GeForce? Oh, yeah, the, the little slices. So I do heavy. I do actually quite rate G4, and I know a lot of people have been telling me to work on G4. So I am, I am listening. But obviously, at the moment, guys, my main focus is on Supersonic. Oh, look at that! The entire screen just exploded. Then, you. So then you can just see how easy that was, guys, because I was able to fully, fully kind of appreciate and not waste a single like character there. Who wants to? Who wants to borrow my characters? Yeah, go on, Genos. He's yours. Take him away, boys. Wavy. Let's get Wavy's one. Um, I might try and hire someone's uh, Empress Child as well. Oh, Seki, come on. Seki always comes through and I want to hire a character. Yeah. That, I think that'll do for now. Awesome. Oh, we want my two times mission. So, guys, like I did yesterday, now you can see all the fantastic rewards I've got. Look at all of that in one day. And these ones don't matter. They are what they are. Get yeah, one off straight away. Okay, so good. That's a diamond one. I can actually deploy that. Don't care about the gold. Don't really care about 120 diamonds. I'm going to refresh that. That's actually a very bad lot there. Another bad lot there. That's come on. All right, that's awful. And I'm, I'm not going to go at 200 diamonds. I'll just get the rest of those on. So that wasn't the greatest refresh. But I get some diamonds. Get some character shards. Get some diamonds. Get some character shards. It's not the worst. Would have liked some purple crystals. But it's just the way it is. You know, RNG. Bad shuffle today. And we'll obviously just wait and hope that the next day we get something a little bit better. But as always, guys, I love in my videos to do the, the guild bosses. Because it really does get everybody talking in the comments. And it's always interesting to see what you guys think of the guild bosses. So I want to feature today's winner on the wall, guys. And he was discussing about yesterday's boss. Which is the, the stun guy. The, the guy who squashes his brother in the um, start of One Punch Man. So he says, on that guild boss, I use front row starting from left. So he has... Terror Tornado at the top, Empress Child, um, then so Sonic, 
then middle he leaves it empty, so he'll go TT, Emperor's Child, Sonic, then the middle he'll leave empty, back row starting from the left, um, so obviously the, no, I've said that, front row is the one closest, that's TT, Emperor's Child, Sonic, then he leaves the middle row empty, then the back row who has Genos, middle empty, and then Metal Bat or SB. Hmm, I don't know who SB is. That makes me feel like an absolute noob. But and he has metal about. I use this. I'm getting 28 to 32 million right now because Emperor's Child Emperor in a row by himself and won't take my, as much damage. But it won't hurt to give this a try. Thanks for the great advice. Keep up the good work, my friend. So I'm absolutely botched reading that, Josh. Um, a nice name, by the way. Um, but it's on the screen for you guys to have a look at. And I'm definitely going to try. And um, put this on the on the um, and use this as a, as a team the next time that big boss rolls around. So let's try the troll challenge here, right? And I can't actually see the boss until I've had one attempt. Now I know for a fact on this one we need damage and we need to clear all. So they say put him on his own row. We're going to get the damage increase there, and this one would be quite important to have the crit boosts kind of going through the entire level. So let's see what we can do. Not the best attack boost that I wanted. But obviously now it works slightly differently because we're going to be damaging her as we go. Which okay does mean I'm going to be able to... I'm killing less people each time. Which is always a bit annoying. Um, and then... Yep. And they're all going to come back. And then I'll use Emperor... Then I'll use this one. Cut. That's killed everyone. And then they'll all come back. And then I'll use Terrible Tornado's move. There you go. So that's, that's wiped out three rows straight away. Lovely. Yeah. I love how just slowly they die, like confusion. Cool. But what I like now is that when you damage them, it damages her. So it, it, it makes more sense than it did before. Because before, it was it was a little bit mental. Good crits there. We wipe the brow out straight away. So now I will uh, chuck Genos down. It's just speed now. You want to be clearing these guys out as quickly as possible. There we go. Use that one. Pop. And I'll cut everyone down again with him. Ah. There we go. Now uh, it's just... Yeah, everyone's going to start to tick off now. So I basically like to try and use people's specials as quickly as possible here. Because waiting to try and clear this whole row might take a while. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Because obviously we still do have... Oh, he, no, he died immediately. So I won't use this yet. Because Supersonic will take that single line out there. Hopefully in one hit. Yeah, lovely. He's down. Everybody will respawn. And I can use Hellish Blizzard's move here. Sorry, Terrible Blizzard's move there. Oh, did he kill everyone again? No. Okay, quickly use... Come on. No, he died. He died. Thirty-one million damage, guys. That is mental. Thirty-one million damage. So let's see some of the layouts that people use at the top. I oh, okay. So he's gone for a double buff, a double buff team here. It's kind of the same, just splitting everybody up. But uh, yeah, that that's fine, guys. I got thirty-one million damage. I I got to the Overlord phase. Um, huge shout out to everyone in the guild as well who's already in here. It's just me. I am rank two guys that is mental rank two Beautiful people. anyway guys i love you make sure you use that tip i've given you by clicking the purples in odyssey and road to strong it's gonna help you out a lot and i'll see all you beautiful people in the next one drop the aces god